Sorry. <laughs> hey guys. Hello. I'm trying to get the camera situated or my laptop situated so that you can see everything you're supposed to see because this is a set, like a setup set. So I don't want you guys seeing anything strange. Uh, but no, thank you guys for joining me. Hi, Byron. How are you? Um, yes, I'm going to be live streaming a whole recipe video and I'm going to be eating. I have until like 2.45 uh, Eastern time to be on here and chit chatting with you guys and stuff like that. Hello, everybody. So today we're going to be making a burger. A lot of you guys have been requesting burgers lately. And a lot of you guys have also requested live cooking shows. So that's what we're doing today. And actually, the funny thing is that the only reason that I'm doing a live stream today, because I've I'd been wanting to do one, but I didn't really know when to do it and kind of how to, how to plan it, because I don't have like a camera guide to show you guys like in the pan and stuff like that. But I made this video already, edited it and everything, and I accidentally deleted it and then cleared out my recycle bin. And that is why I'm here doing this one because I was going to do it over the weekend and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to have time. I'm going to give them what they want anyways. And I'm going to do a live stream cooking thing. Yay. All right. So let me catch my breath because I'm all out of breath right now. Okay. Um, we're going to, the burger that I'm making is called the Miami burger. I named it the Miami burger because it was inspired by our, our uh, trip to Miami last year. And since we're going to Miami, I don't think I've told you guys, but we're going to Miami next month. Um, I figured I was inspired and I was like, let me share something like that for you guys. So basically we had this burger that had, that was in Miami, like a food truck. And I was like, oh, that looks really good. And everybody who we were with uh, were not vegan. So I'm thinking, oh, well, let's go to this food stand that I'm most likely not going to find food at. I didn't say it, but I thought about it. But lo and behold, they actually had a vegan burger. And it was absolutely delicious, and it had sweet plantains in it. And I was, like, mind blown that a burger would have sweet plantains in it. But it was so good, and that's what we're recreating today. So let's get started. Oh, and if you guys would like to see more videos like this, like, like cooking stuff, let me know. And if you guys are, are actually interested, then I'll be more than glad to, uh, to do that. Give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of thing. Um, all right, so first things first. Oh, also, I have, um, you know what, let me, let me give you guys the, uh, the recipe link. I'm sorry, I'm just like, kind of all over the place. I've never done a live cooking um, video, but I'm going to give you guys the full recipe because I have a full recipe already for it. And I initially started like a different um, a live stream, but then it wouldn't let me change the thumbnail for some reason. And since it didn't let me change the thumbnail, I was like, well, let me do it like more direct like this. And then I wasn't able to do the, um, uh, what do you call it? I wasn't able to do, to put something on the, in the description. Maybe I was, maybe I'm just not, not very good at this whole live streaming thing, but hold on one second. Bear with me, you guys, bear with me. Um, okay, I'm on my blog and I'm trying to get it on here but it's like going so slow I guess it's because I'm live streaming but the recipe is on my blog I'm trying to get it for you guys I'm trying I'm trying all right let's see um all right here we go so you guys Okay, well, listen, I'll put it on the description, like, below. Once the video is done, if you guys want to see it, it's on my website, on my blog, veggierolls.com. It's the newest uh, post on there. For some reason, I just can't get on it. I guess it's, like, it's lagging and it's going too slow. Um, let's see. Oh, oh, no, it's not hot. I thought I was going to get it ready to burn myself. All right, so one can of black beans. Um, thank you, Byron. I'll check it out in a bit when I finish here. Thank you. Um, so we have one can of black beans that have been uh, rinsed, drained, all that good stuff. We have half a cup of white rice, and I'm using leftover rice. This is the rice that I used, uh, that I made last night. We had a little leftover. 
We have a half a bell pepper. I'm using red because, I don't know, it just seems like a nice color to use. And then we have some red onion. And then I have some hemp seeds. Again, the, uh, the recipe, the full recipe will be in the description box as soon as this is done. We have garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika. I'm sure you guys could use sweet paprika, but for burgers, I feel like smoked paprika gives it so much more like, I don't know, that like grilled sort of taste to it. And then we're gonna add some soy sauce. You guys, I thought that my food processor was broken. I was kind of freaking out a little bit when I was like, oh no, I accidentally deleted Monday's video. And then when I was like, all right, fine, I'm gonna do a live stream. And when I realized, I went to try the my food processor and it wouldn't turn on. And I was like, oh no, what am I supposed to do? So, but then I just like had like a ridiculous moment where I didn't put the lid all the way on, so it wasn't turning on. <laughs> all right, so we're also gonna add some salt and pepper, a little generous salt and pepper, and, uh, and we're gonna blend this thing up. And I think my cat is stuck in my basement, so I have to like open the door so he can come up. It sounds like you're scratching at, at the door. Hang on. Hang on, Nico. Poor thing. I want to be able to read some of your comments. Let's see. Yes, more live videos. Uh, you'll do fine. I'm in love with your new setup. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, let me open the door to my cat really, really quick. Really, really quick. Come on, Nico. All right, all right. Okay. He went downstairs when Chris went out and then he got stuck down there. So, all right, let's put this away. And we're gonna just post this until it becomes, you know, burger Chris's consistency. Now that's good. Oh, that's awesome. So, oh my goodness, it smells so good. It smells so good. You guys, if you make this, I could probably seriously just eat this, maybe like on a bed of lettuce, but it smells that good. All right, I think we're almost, we're almost there, we're almost there. I have the worst food processor ever. What brand food processors do you guys use? Because right now I have this like Hamilton Beach one, and it's just, it's not that great. All right. okay. And then I'm trying to figure out this new stove. It's like there's been so many different, so many new things and so many changes that have gone on this last month that I'm kind of like really disoriented um, because. This is a new stove top and it's an induction cooktop. And it's so confusing. First of all, it's super loud. So when I'm editing, I have to like do all this special stuff to try to get it as quiet as possible. And then, um, oh, and I have to put this little strip here, which I haven't put on yet. <laughs> I just turned it on. I should have had it on, uh, but we're gonna let it heat up and I'm gonna read some of your comments in the meantime. Let's see. Um, Ranisha, Ranisha says it's 3.58 a.m. here in Australia. Oh, my goodness. Good morning. Wow. Um, let's see. View says, hi, Rose. I'm tuning in from Alaska. I think, I, yeah, I just said that, right? I read that already. Okay. Um, awesome. Um, what's the temperature out there in Alaska? Um, let's see. Is that... Is that an aloe plant in the counter? Yeah, it is. It is. I went to Ikea and I was kind of going nuts because I'm like, I need to find an aloe plant when I was like trying to decorate and stuff. And I found like some fake aloe plants. I'm like, what's the use of having a fake aloe plant in my kitchen? If I get burned, the fake aloe plant is not going to help. <laughs> so, so yeah. And then we finally found the, I actually, the funny thing is I was, I was, uh, me and Chris were just talking and I heard uh, a guy tell his wife, oh, I'm going to go and get the aloe plant. And I was like, what? So I, uh, very incognito as she followed the guy 
to the aloe plant, as creepy and as stalkerish as that sounds. But it, luckily it wasn't like far. I didn't have to like follow him through the entire store. It was only like an aisle away. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see. Melita says, I miss your green hair. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I miss my, my colorful hair, but it's just too much to take care of. It's like, this is taking care of colorful hair is like taking care of, I don't know, an extra human being or something. It's crazy. Um, someone says, I need a new food processor. Yes, I know. It's insane. Like, anyways, um, I think I might have put a little too much oil in here. Don't want to cause a fire or anything. All right. I'm going to get rid of a little bit of the oil in here. This is my little, I have like a little uh, side, uh, little prep table over here. Which is, I'm not dumping it into the floor or anything like that. <laughs> All right. So we have our mixture here ready. And oh my goodness, it smells so good. You guys have no idea. All right. And we're just, oh my, oh my goodness. I forgot to add the breadcrumbs, you guys. How could you guys let me forget to add the breadcrumbs? How? Kidding, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know you guys don't know the recipe before I tell you. All right, so I'm adding some of the breadcrumbs and I'm eyeballing it, but to be approximately a third of a cup. And we're gonna pulse this again. <laughs> the worst food processor ever, seriously. All right. Whatever, that should be good. All right. So I'm taking about half a cup's worth of uh, our hamburger little batter here. Is this even on? Is this thing on? All right. Do any of you guys have an induction cooktop? Oh, yes, it's on. All right, good. So I'm just forming our patties. There we go. Do you guys have a favorite? Uh, veggie burger. Is there like a specific favorite veggie burger that you guys really like to have? I know one of my my favorite like burgers always have barbecue sauce on them. I love love adding barbecue sauce to my burgers and all my sandwiches. Really, I just love barbecue sauce. All right, and I have this on high, and uh, we're just gonna let it brown. And I totally forgot to get a. Uh, Paper towels. Give me a quick second. No, nope, I can't go through here. <laughs> Hold on. Go, go. All right. Good enough. Good enough. So, um, I don't know. I have a question around here. What is it? What did it say? Latoya Little says, hey, Veggie Rolls, what is your advice for someone who is trying to be vegan? Um, I just always say, oh, my God, I'm smoking up the place here. My advice, you guys, this is my first time live streaming cooking, so I'm taking notes for next time I do it, like uh, trying not to burn down the place, right? So my advice is always uh, find vegan food that you enjoy. Always try to find like a substitute to whatever it is that you would normally like to eat and then just veganize it. And that's the easiest way to stay vegan and to actually enjoy uh, being vegan. Because one of the hardest things to do is when you first go vegan and you don't really know what to eat and you're just eating like salads and plain stuff because that's just what you expect you're supposed to eat and not just that, but you don't really know what in the world else to make. So as long as you find really good food that you enjoy, it's way easier to stay vegan. Um, let's see. Oh, it's like I'm reaching out to you guys. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to reach to scroll through the comments here. Um, let's see. Uh, Terry says, hey Rose, you should do what I eat in a day. Random. <laughs> I should. Well, I mean, yeah, I could totally do that. I think I'm going to go and get a phone today, a new phone, because I've been 
phoneless for a, like a week or two. Um, no, that's not true. I've been phoneless for about a week now. And I think I'm going to go get one so that I can do my usual like Instagram, um, what I eat kind of stories on there. I do that a lot on Instagram. Uh, and uh, let's see. Step one, turn the cooker on. Yeah, yeah, but this thing is so tricky. It's so tricky. Um, Beyond Meat. I, I don't think I've ever had a Beyond Meat burger. Um, Korean barbecue burgers are yummy. Pixie says, that sounds really good. I love, love Korean food. So I can imagine that tasting delicious. And I think this is going a little too down. So let's bring it up a little bit. And it's just weird because it's like, it has numbers from like, 200 to like 1500 and i don't know like really what is what and then it says like the function is like water fry steam warm I, i'm not sure how it works um let's see chris lane says barbecue sauce yes the onion rings on my burger and onion rings on burger yes you know what i have to i don't think i don't think i've made any recipes for onion rings maybe i should do like an onion ring barbecue like cowboy style burger that'll be Awesome. Um, who's down for one of those? Should I make a recipe for a cowboy style burger with barbecue and onion rings? And like a special sauce? Of course, we have to put a special sauce. Because a burger without a special sauce is just not a burger. That being said, today's burger does not have a special sauce because it has uh, sweet plantains and avocado and mayo and ketchup and just deliciousness. All right. Um, I don't want to burn my burger. Let's see. How's our burger looking? Our burger is looking good. So we're going to take this out. I'm actually going to make two for now because otherwise I'm not going to be able to chit chat with you while I eat my food. And that's the plan. All right. Where do I put this? Here? Here? There? All right. Here's good. All right. So let's take this burger. Out of here, put it on there. All right, so we're gonna place our burgers onto a plate. In the meantime, while our burgers just hang out, you know, sunbathing in all of these studio lights, <laughs> um, I'm adding a bit more oil uh, into our pan because we're gonna be frying up some sweet plantains. Have you guys ever had sweet plantains? You see this, it looks like a banana, and it's not really a plantain. I mean, it's not like a green plantain that you would use to make tostones. This is a green, uh, uh, yellow plantain, so it's a ripe plantain. But as you can see, it's like really, really dark and really, really soft. And this is what gives you the sweetest, sweetest uh, plantain ever. So I'm going to try to peel this thing without like breaking it up. Maybe put the heat down a little. And then... We're gonna slice the thing. Come on, Rose. All right, hold on, hold on. There we go. So, taco burgers. Ooh, that sounds good. Actually, I feel like I recently made a taco burger or had a taco burger. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. All right, so, I always eat the little end. Oh my goodness, it's so sweet, you guys. So deliciously sweet. And it's crazy. I would have never, ever thought of putting sweet plantains in a burger. And let me tell you, I eat a lot of sweet plantains because I'm Caribbean. But, uh, yeah, for some reason, I just never thought about putting sweet plantains in a burger. But yet, I do sweet plantains with everything else. All right, so these are very, very soft, which means that they're going to be super duper sweet and, like, juicy. Oh, my goodness. The picture that you saw on the thumbnail is actually not as like sweet and juicy, the, the plantains, because um, they were not as ripe as these. But I couldn't find any really ripe ones. So I decided to get some that were not that ripe this time around and just let them ripen up. So it just took a couple days for them to get really ripe. But uh, yeah, uh, what else? Oh, we're gonna put chips on our burger. Do you guys like chips on your burgers? So I'm basically cooking my plantain um, on both sides. Are you heading out? Um, I'm cooking the plantains on both sides. I want to say this is like a 
medium high, medium heat. Um, and then it's just going to cook until they're like golden brown or golden on each side. Um, let's see. Uh, Michael and Crystal Tucker say there are these tofu miso burgers here and man, they are good without all the toppings. The texture is amazing. That sounds good. I love miso. Um, so I can see how that could be really, really good. I like miso soup. Miso soup is the bomb. You okay? Oh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see. Pixie says, I sort of loathe traditional barbecue sauce, but I would love to see your spin on Korean on Korean burger. I don't know how to pronounce that. So I just skipped the word I couldn't pronounce and went straight to the next word. So um, funny thing is, I wish that everybody here loves barbecue sauce as much as I do. Chris and Jaden, not big fans of barbecue sauce. Chris and Jaden, my husband and my son, they're not huge fans of barbecue sauce. So whenever I make stuff with barbecue sauce, I'm sitting there like, oh my God, it's so good. It's so delicious. And they're sitting there going, it's okay. It's barbecue sauce. I'm not a fan of barbecue sauce. <laughs> so I'm like, why can't they like barbecue sauce as much as I do? But, uh, you know, see, you just zoom. There's things I don't like either. And whatever, you know. I love barbecue sauce. Bye. Bye. Love you. That was Chris. He's heading out to work. And he, he bought all this stuff that I'm using to cook here. So you guys, uh can see the support. <laughs> yeah, you know the funny thing is, I love to cook and I love building recipes and I love making videos and all that stuff. But you know one thing that I cannot stand is going to the supermarket. Like going to the supermarket is one of those things where I'm just like, uh I gotta go to the supermarket. And I'm like, come oh. on. Am I the only one who doesn't like going to the supermarket? I think you know what it is? I really think I don't like going shopping like at all. Just shopping is not I just don't like shopping. Um, yeah, no fun for me. Uh, Linda says, how long have you been vegan? Oh my goodness. Now that you bring that up, I've been vegan for two years and I'm so excited. And I completely forgot. I was supposed to make a video. I was supposed to do something about my two year anniversary of being vegan, which I still might on my second channel. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll finish this and film that um, for my second channel because I feel like I don't have an exact date on when I became vegan, but I know it was in the middle of April and that already passed. So I've been vegan for two years. Yay! <laughs> um, Mary says, I want to learn how to make a crunchy coconut burger. Oh, that sounds so good. That sounds so good. I'm going to have to like go through these again and write stuff down. Um, let's see. And now that I'll be making two videos a week, I'll have a lot more time to recipe build and that'll be really fun. Um, you guys will get so much more yummy stuff. Uh, yeah. All right. So let's take these guys out. So let me show you because I don't think you can see. I doubt you could see, but I don't want to burn my handle. So this is what your little plantains should look like. They should be nice and brown. And yeah, so we're gonna get these out of here. And the cooking portion of this burger is done. So that was it, that's how fast. And usually, and obviously if you're not doing a live stream, <laughs> your burger will be done a lot faster. And the noise from the stove will be gone in a second. You know what, as a matter of fact, gone, unplugged, no more noise. Now you can hear me better, right? With all that extra in the background. Oh, sweet plantains. Do you guys like sweet plantains? Have you guys had sweet plantains? I feel like I asked that, but I wasn't paying attention to the stream, the live stream to know. Um, let's see. Um, 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 um. Let's see. Byron says, Rose, did you sign the mic, the McDonald's petition I sent you? No. Do you have my email? I need to have, you need to have my email and send me like whatever there because, oh, sure. Whoa, whoops. Um, I don't want to, uh, hold on. Uh, what is my email? Oh, uh, 
the veggie rolls at gmail.com. So there's my email if you need to send me anything. Um, that goes for all of you guys. I know a lot of people send me stuff just like, oh, could you could you help me veganize this recipe? And they'll send me a recipe and I help I'll help you guys like veganize it or whatever. Um, and uh, and I get a lot of pictures, like food pictures on my email because you guys will make it. And a lot of you guys I know don't have Instagram. So I'll just get them in, in on my inbox, on my email. Um, all right. So let's kind of clear this out a little. And then what's the next step? Okay. So we're going to be adding our toppings and assembling this guy. I think I'm going to do it right here, and I'm going to try not to burn my arm off. You know what? I'll move this over, but this might be really, really hot. Nope. Nah. I mean, it's hot, but my hands are, like, used to the heat. Hang on. All right. So, uh, what was I saying? I feel like I was saying something. <laughs> I bet those would taste good in an air fryer. The sweet plantains, you know, the funny thing is, I actually tried when I was building this recipe, I tried making uh, the sweet plantains in the air fryer because everything that I fry, I've tried recently to use in the air fryer, but the sweet plantains just, it just wasn't working out. Maybe it's because I didn't use any oil at all. Maybe if you spray them or something, but it just, it just wasn't working out. Um, let's put this on here. Maybe it'll burn. Maybe it won't. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Look, I have a little burn mark right there, um, which I usually hide from you guys because whenever I'm filming, I put it this way. Oh, my goodness. Rose. Rose, you're giving out the goods. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, we have our burger. Um, let's see. Oh, yes. That's true. My email is in there, too. But yeah, you can shoot over an email whenever you like. Um, I'll, it's just easier for me to like read emails because I check my email like like every 20 minutes I check my email so it's easier like that um, alright so oh I don't know if anyone else has noticed uh, but my subscriber account YouTube has deleted for the past month YouTube has deleted uh, 12,907 subscribers from my account. And, um, oh, so right here I'm, I'm doing a mail on my burger. So they've deleted 12,907 subscribers and those are closed accounts. So they, they're basically saying it's from like accounts that are not active or whatever. Um, which is kind of weird because I had, uh, I think it was like 10,000 subscribers up until, uh, a year of me doing YouTube. Uh, so saying that 12,000 plus subscribers are inactive is kind of strange. Um, Mia. And uh, so, yeah, anyways, and I, I send like feedback to them over and over and over, um, send feedback onto them on there for them, and they're just not answering. So it's, it's like kind of upsetting. At first, it was like, okay, cool, I lost 4,000 subscribers. And on, uh, was it March 29th, March 20, March 30 or something like that. So I lost all those subscribers and then, um, it started trickling and kind of going away, but I haven't been able to pass 55,000 subscribers since then, which is weird because I was almost like at 58,000. They won't answer. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Chris is like, he's sent feedback to. If you guys would like to send feedback from my actual channel, like if you go onto my channel and all the way at the bottom, if you're going like from a computer on the bottom, it says send feedback. And you could just say like you've noticed like a glitch or something going on weird with the subscriber count. Also, um, if you're from going from a phone, you can go to my channel at the top right corner, send feedback. Maybe I'll get an answer that way because from what I've seen, from what I've seen, uh, from what I've noticed, other people who've gone through the same thing, they've had it like going on, going on, gone for a little bit and then it's just stopped. But for me, it's like, it's like the second I reach 54,800, I get sent right back to like 52,000. 
And it's crazy. It, it feels like Groundhog Day. You guys seen the movie Groundhog Day? That's what it feels like. Anyways, enough of that rant. Like I said, if you guys want to help out and maybe contact them using the feedback thing, uh, I would highly, highly appreciate that. Maybe we can get an answer what's going on. When is it going to finish? Like, when is this going? You know, I want to see some progress again. All right. So, anywho, we got the burger. I placed the burger onto the bun. Of course, I put mayo on both sides because who doesn't love mayo? I don't. No, who doesn't? Who hates mayo? What? No, that doesn't. Listen, just ignore whatever I just said. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> all right, so we've got avocado on there. We are putting a slice or two of, uh, what is that called? Tomato. And of course, the star of the burger is the sweet plantains. Should I bring it closer? You guys see? You guys can't see. You guys can't see. All right, so. I've got two slices of sweet plantain. And then, you guys, you guys, potato chips on my burger. Because what is a burger without potato chips? Some sort of chips. I'm like, oh my God. My hands are greasy. I can't open it. You want some chips? Yeah? All right. There you go. Take it away. Yep, don't make a mess, okay? <laughs> Mia. Mia's coming. Look at this huge, look at this huge thing. So, I don't know. I guess, I mean, the original one that I did, I put, like, the little potato sticks, but uh, Chris couldn't find any potato sticks, so we went with the regular chips. And that is the massive burger that we are about to uh, ingest. Is that a weird word? Sorry. I know that might sound kind of weird or blind roast. <laughs> All right. So mm -hmm. I got a clean our little area here onto the floor. Don't worry. I'll oh, sweep. It's okay. It's all right. Don't worry. All right. And then I'm just going to unplug this guy. I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. And you guys are still watching. You guys are awesome. Did you find, baby? I just found like a huge, huge, huge glass. That's not glass. That's plastic. You can put it in the trash can. Oh, All right. Okay. Like All right. I'm gonna bring you guys in closer. Oops. I'm gonna put this on my avocado. Here we go. So now we get to sit and hang out, and we get to mukbang it. Mukbang it. Let's. <laughs> We're not mukbanging anything, okay? Mukbang, yeah? All right. Gracias, Irene. All right. Um, Irene or Irene? It might, hey, I figured because she was talking Spanish, her name is pronounced like it would be in Spanish. Hey, maybe I was wrong. All right. You guys, look at this burger. Look how massive this burger is. Oh my, you guys. You guys are, you know, I know why you guys are staying. You guys are staying to see how in the world such a little person is going to be able to bite into this burger. But let me tell you, I got this under control. I am a burger professional, okay? Burger professional. Thank you, Living Plantfully. And you know the crazy thing is? It looks so yummy and it's so easy to make and it was so fast to just whip up. Look, it's is three is we're 33 minutes in. It took me less than half an hour to get this done. And I mean it'll take you even less time if you uh if you're not live streaming. So yeah, there's all the oh my god. Here we go, you guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Amazing. It's amazing, so amazing. All right, let's see. Um, my mouth is too small for that business. <laughs> no, I might be little, but I am always down for a nice big burger. Mm. How do people do mukbangs? How do you stuff your face and talk at the same time? 
without being like, like really rude. You guys are seeing my little dingy chocolate towel. I cleaned up some chocolate earlier. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Brian Murphy says, your fish and chip sandwich was even bigger. Mm -hmm. This one I kind of like smushed down. Everything is smushed downable in this one. Um, I'm making you guys hungry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, it's really fast to make. You guys should just go in the kitchen and make your own with me, right? Oh, God. Mm. The patty, Tatiana. I just did a, I just made a homemade patty. The patty has a uh, hemp seeds, bell peppers, rice, um, onion garlic, onion, onion, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, salt, pepper, and uh, breadcrumbs. Yeah, so good. Mhm. Mm oh yeah, the plantain are like what? I'm not saying bye bye. No. Okay. I will. Mia, my four year old, is making sure that I remember to say bye to you guys when I'm done. Right? <laughs> okay. I will. I will. Don't worry. What is your favorite vegan dish? What will I make next? So, Wednesday's video is going to be um, a recipe for. Uh, um cornbread but not like regular cornbread it's gonna be a veggie rose iced cornbread <laughs> i'm not usually a fan of cornbread but i'm gonna make it so that i really enjoy it which means it's gonna be awesome so i hope you guys watch that on wednesday mm -hmm. mm. just gonna use some ketchup oh yeah Oh well, no biggie. Mm-hmm. Oh snap! Yeah, Byron, send me the um the email, or I mean, maybe I can just look it up. Is it like on change.com? Either way, if, if I get it, once I get it, I can share it all over the place too. That would be awesome. That's awesome. So you guys, if you guys haven't read. Uh, Byron Murphy's uh, comment. Um, he actually, hold on. Byron, if you could put the link on here. Uh, McDonald's has, or there's a petition going on so that McDonald's could start selling the Impossible Burger, which is the vegan, the vegan burger uh, in their stores. That would be amazing. That would be so awesome because, I mean, what would they put toppings on it? I mean, I mean, I guess we could get it like with just ketchup, but how awesome would it be if McDonald's came out with the Impossible Burger? I mean, sold the Impossible Burger and then did a vegan version of their Mac sauce because you guys, here's a shameful uh, admission. When Before I was vegan, years before I went vegan because I stopped eating McDonald's years before I even went vegan, but years ago, I used to eat at least one Big Mac a day. Like that's how much, how much I used to love Big Macs. And I've always loved burgers. The only reason I'm not going all crazy at this burger is because I'm still trying to be a lady. You know, I'm not trying to be like, ah, but <laughs> I almost, I almost choke being a clown. I'm such a clown. You guys, and you guys still watch. I'm a clown and you guys watch. Crazy. That means maybe you guys are as crazy as I am, huh? <laughs> oh boy. Mm. Mm hmm. Let's see. So, Byron just posted the link, you guys. Byron Murphy. He's the moderator. You'll see he's in blue. Um, he just posted a link. So you guys can sign the petition for McDonald's to bring the Impossible Burger. That would be so awesome, you guys. Sign it, share it. I mean, obviously, if you guys want to have a good fast food vegan experience, I mean, 
Best thing we can do is share it, sign it, all that good stuff. What? White Castle is using Impossible Burger? Wow. The world is changing, huh? That's awesome. Mm. A spare little plantain. Mm-hmm. Living Plantfully says... She's sharing a homemade vegan Nutella recipe this week. I think you'll love it. So you guys check out Living Plant Feliz, uh, uh channel. She has some really nice recipes on her channel too. Um, <laughs> maybe that's why you watch. Why? Because I'm crazy. I'm a bit of a clown. <laughs> oh my. You guys have to try this burger out. It doesn't matter, really, specifically this burger, but if you try a burger with plantains and chips on it and avocado, oh, man. So good. The White Castle has the Impossible Burger. We don't have the White Castle, though. My TGI Friday has the Beyond Burger meat, though. Mm. My nearest... Um, White Castle is like 45 minutes away, and I've always told Chris we have to take a trip out there to get some White Castle. I mean, I said it before I went vegan, but now I have to check to see if they have the impossible because I would definitely take a trip out there because uh, I just love White Castle. Oh, look at the bunny is here to visit us, you guys. Don't get her dirty, she's gonna get dirty. Oh, you're hungry. <laughs> Mia, you want to taste? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yummy. Mm -hmm. Good? Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> she had lunch already. Oh, are you coming over here? Okay. Mia's coming to steal the show. <laughs> Let's see. Beyond Burger tastes like corned beef to me. I've never had it. I probably should. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Michael and Crystal Tucker say, girl, you be eating around the whole outside of the burger. Like it's a corn on the cob. <laughs> Actually, my tech, oh, did you just drop something on me? My technique for eating burgers is usually a lot faster. I usually inhale burgers, but usually that's how I, I eat yeah. it. My technique is just going around the sides, going around the sides, because the center is always the best part of the burger. Always yeah. got the most toppings on it. Because, you know, the edges are always kind of like, yeah, maybe it has some of this topping, maybe that topping. But the center always has a little bit of all the toppings. So that's my strategy. <laughs> Mia likes the burger, right, Mia? Yeah. Look at you with your stuff hanging out. Get out of here, girl. Uh-uh. Mia, I had one of my I had one of my videos demonetized because she came out without a shirt doing a taste test cam. Can you believe it? She was three. She's four, but either way, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. Um let's see. Victoria Gonzalez says, I love all your Puerto Rican recipes. Mia, what in the world? Recipes, I cook them on the weekend with my family. Oh, that's so cool. Mia, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Stop being so loud. <laughs> this one, adorable. She's crazy, though. I don't know if she gets that from me. <laughs> or if it's just like a natural thing. She's crazy. So is Jaden. He's crazy. Insane. Mm-mm-mm. Um, but, uh, let's see. Yep. Got a co-host, but all she's doing is getting the juice from the tomato. From the tomato. Oh, you know, the funny thing is that's a quick little, uh, story. When I was growing up, my mom said that she always used to leave the tomatoes out, like washed and ready for me to eat, uh, in the front of the refrigerator because I, oh, I've always loved tomatoes. And uh, I used to just go in and poke my little, she said, I, I used to poke my finger, my pinky 
into the tomato yeah. and then just like get the juice out of it. And then I would eat it. Yeah. But as she said, sometimes I would just get the juice out of it and just leave the dry inside tomato <laughs> back in the fridge. Oh my goodness. Darn, I miss you cooking the burger, Nisha says. You can play it back. You can play it back. I'll be, I'm gonna, I'll be done the live stream in about mm, 10 minutes, five minutes or so. I have to go yeah. pick up Jaden from school. Yeah. Right? I got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, I don't think say she got a wild soul. If I allow kids like that, usually grow up to have the biggest hearts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's definitely they're a uh, wild child, like their mama. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop playing with the food. You're gonna eat it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm sorry, you want more burger? Mm -mm. No more? <laughs> Ew. That's disgusting, <laughs> man. It's just juice. I'm do that. It's just juice. Go ask me. Get ready so we can go get Jay. You never leave yet. But before you're before you done doing your bee. All right. I'm almost done, so go get ready, okay? Go. Go. Go take off that shirt. Go get ready, okay? Go, 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 go. Shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> she has Jaden's shirt on. She's like, well, it was in my room. Funny thing is, the other day we went out and Jaden, Jaden had like a little jacket, like a little hoodie on. And then he takes it off to go into the supermarket with me. It had warmed up outside. And I'm walking and I'm like, that shirt looks a little small. Then I realized he was wearing me a shirt. He was wearing his four-year-old sister's shirt, which kind of fit him. Weird. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They're tiny. They're tiny like me. Maybe they'll grow up. Well, maybe one of them will grow up pretty big like Chris, but as of now, they're tiny. <laughs> Mia wants to be famous. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's a little crazy one. No. Go away. Get dressed. Don't you want to come with me? Yeah. We're gonna pick up JJ. Mm -mm. We're gonna go get him. So go change your shirt, please, and put um, your shoes. Put your shoes on. One more. One more. One more. What? You just bite your finger. You see? Greedy. She just bit her finger. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. Wait, wait, wait. wait. It's okay. <laughs> and the Academy Award goes to Mia. And before, when I say bye, I'll call you so you can come and say bye. Okay? Deal? Sure. Frozen is what? When I finish, I'll give you a band aid. A frozen band aid. But we don't want anymore. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I'm not going to tell you where, but we do have some more. Okay? I promise we do. Okay? So uh, put your shoes on, okay? She just, she, she just stole the show. She just stole the show. I completely forgot what I was saying. What in the world was I saying? Um, what, let's see. What was your reason for going vegan? Uh, Lenora? Lenora says, well, I went vegan. Well, when I first decided uh, to go vegetarian, it was for health reasons. And then I have some more. Don't worry. It was for vegetarian reasons. But then... Um, after like researching like uh, why people were vegetarian and different vegetarian stuff, I came across the whole vegan uh, lifestyle and then why people went vegan. And then I stumbled across like all those really like graphic vegan documentaries. And then I went vegan for the animals and for the earth and all that. So, uh, so yeah, I'm vegan 
for animals and for the planet. And uh, and Nico, my cat is stuck in the basement again. What is going on? You know what the crazy thing is? Mia, could you open the door for Nico, please? The crazy thing is my cat knows how to open the basement door by himself, which is weird. Like, what kind of human soul does that little creature have? <laughs> Open it for him. But, um, let's see. She didn't want any more burgers. She already had lunch. But, ah, well, now she's tending to the cat. <laughs> um, does she raid the frozen? Band-Aids, yeah, she does. She bring me back the, she just bring me um, the empty box of frozen Band-Aids. Um, and I promised her I had some more, but I think that was it. Because I could have sworn I had more, but she bring me the box. So I'm like, what? I don't know, don't worry. I definitely have more bandages. I don't know if I have more. Elsa frozen band-aids, but I definitely have more band-aids. But you just bit your finger. You there's girl, please. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. You should do a why went vegan update. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's something I should probably do on this channel. I know I keep saying for the second channel, whatever, but it's been so much going on, it's hard to keep track of two channels. But Mia, you need to get down from there, baby. Um, let's see. I had to hide the frozen band-aids from my daughter, too. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, I have to hide all bandages. I have to hide, like, anything doctorish because she loves to pretend doctor. And they'll be gone. Or she'll just be like, I have a boo-boo. I have a boo-boo. And then she, like, runs for the bandages. Crazy thing is she always finds stuff. She always finds things. And I'm like, how in the world did you even, how do you even know that was there? Sneaky little kids. Um, Corrine Blair says, is your whole household vegan as well? I can't get my guys to go vegan at all. No, uh, I'm actually the only like full vegan. Uh, my kids are more on the vegetarian side. Uh, they only eat vegan food from what I make. I only cook vegan food. Oh my goodness, I got such a delicious like little barbecue type of taste, like a grill type taste all of a sudden. But yeah, so my kids will only eat vegan food at home. And um, that's all I cook. All I buy is vegan food. Uh, however, Chris is not vegan or vegetarian. He's just regular meat eater. So um, who occasionally buy them food that's vegetarian. And when we go out, they'll have like mac and cheese or whatever vegetarian stuff they want to have. Um, so we kind of like balance it out like that because he's more like, you know, let them have whatever they want. And I kind of agree, you know, cause like your choice, I don't like to pressure anyone into becoming vegan or something that they don't want to do yet. So um, they're fine with uh, eating cheese and stuff like that at the moment. Um, whenever we go out, I wouldn't be okay with them having it at home just because I don't buy it. But, uh, and, uh, but yeah, but they completely agree with the whole not eating meat thing. Uh, they wouldn't eat it. Sometimes Chris is like, do you want it? And they're like flat out. Nope, 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 nope. And then Mia goes into like a full explanation of why she doesn't want it. Um, which I think is really cool. Um, but yeah, they have choices. They have their choices. You know, and that's another thing. A lot of people always are like, oh, how is it that why are you vegan and why do you uh, force your kids to be vegan? I don't force my kids to be vegan. You don't want me talking about you? Okay. Hold on. Uh, because I because people ask me, okay? Someone asked me. So, yeah, uh, I don't force my kids to be vegan. I never have forced them to be vegetarian. Um, me and never really liked to eat meat to begin with. Um, and, uh, yeah, so it's just whatever, you know? Um, all right. Uh, I know eventually they'll probably become vegan too, which is cool. Uh, Mia, excuse me. 
Excuse me, you know I'm looking at you. Can you please get down from there? Leave the salt alone. Get down. And you have no shoes on. I've been. Yeah, we're leaving. Come on, baby. All right. Let's see. Um, 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 um. Whoops. 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 Hang on. All right. So I'm gonna be heading out in a minute or two. But I. What happened to this? All right. Uh. Uh. I don't know what in the world just happened to the comments. They just scrolled all the way down. Um. What in the world? Uh. Well, okay. Well, you guys, uh, I'm going to be heading out in a bit. I know this live stream was so kind of like all over the place because it was the first time I've ever done a live cooking thing. I think that for the next time, I'll kind of be a little more, uh, I'll, I'll know what I'm doing a little more and be able to show you guys how to do things a little better. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be letting you guys go because Mia, Mia, is over there uh, spilling a bunch of salt into a bowl and mixing it. And then uh, she needs to put her shoes on. We're going to go pick up Jaden from school. And yes. So thank you guys so much for joining me. And uh, don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up if you like it or if you want more live streams. Wednesday, Wednesday's video, Wednesday's video will be a regular video. It's not gonna be a live stream because I know I've done two live streams in a row. Um, and uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys very soon. I love you all. And yep, over and out. Bye. Thanks, Byron, for helping me out as usual too. Bye, guys. <laughs>